Hello, this is Captain Chaudhary. I'm going to speak about correct drawing of heel diagram as well as drawing of the list diagram and we will compare the two diagrams. We will try to understand the difference between the drawing of the two diagrams so that we don't make principal error when we draw these diagrams. Right? So first, the heel diagram. Now, when you need to draw the heel diagram, and suppose these are the lines of your pages what you should do is you should draw an inclined a rectangular inclined profile of a box vessel what we are trying to show is this box vessel is inclined on one side because of external influence right and this box vessel is healed on one side in static water conditions if you see that the water level is absolutely static. If I may draw a line parallel to the deck, that line represents the initial water level WOLO and this is the present water level that is W1 L1 inclined at an angle theta which is the heel angle. This is the center of buoyancy, the initial upright position. Now to show the vessel heel, I must first talk about these wedges. This wedge which was underwater has come up, so it is called immersed wedge and this particular wedge of water which has gone underwater, earlier it was above water, is called immersed wedge. This is the centroid of the immersed wedge and this is the centroid of immersed wedge. I will indicate the centroids by B and B1. Parallel and proportional to the product of the distance BB1 and the volume of the wedge, I will draw a line parallel to BB1 and I will call it B1. Now from B1, I will draw an upright this way. This may be the center of gravity of the vessel and this distance is called GZ, the writing lever. Now if the angle theta is small up to 7 degrees, I can call this point as transverse meta center and therefore I see the relationship in this triangle GZM as GZ upon GM is equal to sine theta opposite upon hypotenuse. So the relationship is GZ upon GM is equal to sine theta. This is the heel diagram. Now in this heel diagram angle Z is 90, theta is a small angle and gz upon gm is sin theta. Now having understood this heel diagram, I would like to talk about the list diagram. There are minor changes and in the same diagram, I will do those changes to explain you the list diagram. Now in any drawing, particularly of the stability and ship construction, it is very very important to know the correct sequence of drawing. If your sequence of drawing is correct, most likely you will not make a principal error. Now, initial inclination of the ship is same. I will remove a few things. What is the basic reason of list? Basic reason of list is internal shift of weight. Let us, for understanding the list, assume that the weight is shifted only transversely across the deck. So shift is parallel to deck in this particular example. There is a weight W which is shifted through a distance of D and because of this shift, transverse shift of weight, the G of the ship will also shift transversely that is parallel to the deck and the amount of shift is given by W into D upon displacement of the ship. What is the difference between heel and list? Heel is caused by external disturbance whereas List is because of internal distribution of the weights. Now, heel is a situation of non-equilibrium. In heel situation, in healed situation, ship loses the equilibrium. Equilibrium is lost because the G and B are not in a vertical line. Whereas listed ship is a situation of equilibrium. Now, equilibrium means G and B have to be in one vertical line. Now, I was talking about correct drawing. Now, G will shift parallel to the shift of weight, but it will shift only till the point 
it is vertically above B. Actually, it is the other way around. The correct sequence of state of affairs is the W is shifted here because of that G is shifted here to G1 because it is going to be an equilibrium situation. The center of buoyancy, that is the new center of buoyancy, must come under the new center of gravity to achieve equilibrium. So you've seen that G has shifted to G1 parallel to the shift of the weight and B has shifted to B1 to come vertically under the G1. So this is the list diagram. In the list diagram compared to the last diagram where Z was 90 degrees in this diagram G is 90 degrees and if it is small list we can call this point as meta center so that the formula is GZ1 upon GM is equal to tan theta. So students this was heel diagram and list diagram. I hope you understand the difference in drawing and I hope you understand the difference in the two concepts, list and heel.